Well, hello, I didn't see you there. I... Cody, look, I, I know they were here. I, I was, it's part of that, just let me do, hey, listen. My name's Austin, I'm the host of Badger BS, and I'm a consummate ladies' man. Always a model student. And most definitely always the funniest guy in the room. And I was like, no, Grandma, you can't even eat bacon in the bathtub. Am I right? Am I right? Um, Cody, look, maybe we should just, let, let's just start the show. Welcome to Badger BS. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, badgers and badgets. I don't know if that's a word. I might have made that up. You Welcome. do that a lot, don't you? I do. Okay. I make up a lot of things. Welcome to Badger BS. I am Austin the Hooligan Eulen. I'm your new host for this year. Uh, to my right, Jim Livingston. Uh, good friend of mine and an amazing Photographer. I try. I try. Jim, tell them a little bit about yourself. Who are you? What do you do? Uh, What's your favorite food? Things like that? Favorite food is barbecue. I grew up in Wichita Falls, Texas. I came to Amarillo to learn photography. So uh, I was a social worker for about 20 years. And when my son joined the Army and I didn't have to worry about him starving to death if I failed, I decided to come to AC and uh, enroll in the photography program. Because you can start here. And go anywhere. And go anywhere. Love it. Yeah. Love it. Now, Jim, you've never been on Badger BS before, right? No. I didn't even know there was a Badger BS. I knew there was a lot of BS around campus, but I didn't know there was a Badger <laughs> no, BS. No, it's an official term. Okay, gotcha. It means banter session. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I'm confused. I'm no, the wrong show then, aren't fine. I? Uh, no, you're, you're in the right place. Okay. The good news is some people out there don't know how this works either. Oh, really? I like to meet new people. I bring, I'm going to bring people in here all the time. We're going to talk a little bit. And then this is also the show where you guys get to ask the questions. Really? Questions? Yeah. And the questions could be pretty much anything. But anything you want to know goes in this box. And then I pull it out and we ask the questions. How cool. Do you want to do it? Sure. You excited? Answer, I'm excited. Pumped to ask up? The, yeah. Ready to go? Well, wait a minute. Can we see what the question is first? Before I do that, I want to do something else. What's that? I don't know if you knew about this, but I've got some of your pictures that I actually want to show to these people, show them how good of a photographer you are, because I feel like you don't believe me. I, I don't, actually. So I'm going to let them, look, can we take, look at that. Ah. You took that picture, I and did. that's legitimate. That's a legitimate picture. Yeah. That's not like uh, what I do at home with Photoshop. That's a, that's a no, photograph. A of, yeah, that's a photograph. There's, there, there is a lot of Photoshop involved in that, though. Actually, the post-processing. Kind of like what you guys do to put your programs together. Yeah, absolutely. Look at that one. That's a, a, a bumblebee. Is that a bee or a fly? It's actually a bumblebee, and it's a Texas thistle. It's a high plains thistle, and I don't even know what I'm talking about. But it is a thistle of some kind. <laughs> it's a tex <coughs> Isn't a thistle a weed? Yeah, it really is. Perfect. It really is. I tried to find a bird to put in there. That way it would be the birds and the bees, but, you know, I had to settle for a thistle and a bee. I understand. Then we would have had to have the birds and the bees talk. Yeah. And I think both of us know the where last, that goes. Last time you did that, I got really confused, Austin. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and do the first question. Okay. I don't, I have no clue. Oh, wait, there's more. Oh, that there's is more. A, that, uh, I was ready to go to the first question, <coughs> but now there's Paul Durkane and hanging out on the screen. That is the lighthouse, and what you're actually seeing there is the movement of the stars over about a four-hour period. So, so it's, it's time a, lapse. It's a. It's a. Uh, it's actually kind of a uh, long exposure. So you're okay. actually looking at what the stars would move over a four-hour period. It reminds me of uh, Starry Night. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Like. A lot of people. Lot is of that people like the it. inspiration behind it? Maybe. No. Um, I really don't know. Do what you paint, point. Jim? Do no, you I paint? don't. I don't paint. And is photography the only real art that you Photography you're... is the only real art that I do besides singing. Is it the only real art? No, I wouldn't say it's the only oh. real art. It's, it's, you know, it's inspiration is painting, I would say. I agree. Yeah. I agree. I do all kinds of stuff. I do music. I do painting. Um, you but do I've, never, I've never, I've never, a little bit, yeah, yeah. A little bit. But I've never done photography. I'm just not good at it. I can find the angles, I've but seen the end the result pictures. is a little... I've seen the pictures you've tried to take with your cell phone. Yeah. It's pathetic, isn't it? Well, you need to put more clothes on. I agree that there is a photo on my Instagram of me in a pink speedo. You guys don't have to go look for that, but if you want to, feel free. Yeah, his Instagram is really an interesting place to hang out. You'll begin to wonder why he's not in uh, counseling more often. 
First question. Let's do it. Oh, I'm sorry, Austin. It's all right. <clears throat> this one says, iPhone or Android? iPhone. Android. Hmm. A clash of the minds. Why iPhone? What do you prefer about the iPhone? I bought an iPhone and I've got 10,000 apps and I just don't want to... Literally 10,000 or just a lot that you don't want to not... That's a figurative space. Okay, yeah. okay. Because I know the iPhone has a lot of space. I just want to make sure. Yeah. Uh, I How use, about Android? Yeah, why, why are you an Android? I use Android because uh, it was the first smartphone I got. Um, and I tried using an iPhone after that and it was just too complicated. So I just I just gave up. Honestly, this, I, the, the iPhone was my first too, so. Maybe it's just like, just with PC and Mac, maybe whoever, whatever you have first, that's just kind of what you What you're used with. to, exactly. Yeah. For instance, I'm, I've been thinking about getting a Surface 3, and a lot of people are trying to get me to get an iPad, but thing is, like, I, I just haven't had experience with Mac, so I just kind of, you know, I stick with what I've got, yeah. yeah. I know a lot of people, it's it's very, even around here, around school, it's very uh, split. It's as almost far political. As, it's like 50-50, I think, as far as Mac. And, in fact, in the in the labs, we have half Mac and half PC. Mm -hmm. It's kind of kind of strange. So the debate continues. Yes. Next question. I'm going to let you draw this one. Go ahead. Go ahead and pick it. What would it take for you to walk around campus in a dress? Nothing. Actually, it would take me about five bucks. No, I would do it, it for free. And maybe a Big Mac. A little bit of attention, some notoriety. It, well, I guess it depends on what kind of dress, too, because I'm really into like cocktail dresses. I think those are the most fun. Uh, but a sundress, I think if the wind got too high, it'd just be a little embarrassing. I kind of want one of those Scarlet O'Hara hoop skirt thing, you know. I think it'd fit my figure a little bit better, you know. Those are uncomfortable, though, aren't they, Jim? I, the last time I was in one, it was kind of actually kind of sexy. With the with the whole hoop underneath and everything? Yeah, because you can get a lot of things under the hoop. You could, if you went to a movie, you could hide all your candy in there? Exactly. And have you, you, listen, have you heard about the movie theaters now doing, uh, like, checks and stuff, like bag checks and stuff? No way! Yeah. Uh, United Artists is now doing bag checks and purse checks and things, not because of contraband food, but because of people shooting people in movie theaters for some reason. That actually makes a little bit of sense. So, like, do they have, like, the... the I blame the Amy Schumer. Go ahead. Do they have like an x-ray machine that you can put your bag on? I don't know. I haven't been since they, be like going they initialized. I don't even know if it's in effect yet, but I know that it was in the news. So it'd be like the, going through the TSA line to go into the theater. Yeah. Yeah. Can you imagine being a, a movie theater security guard that you'd have to go through the same rigorous testing as like a TSA agent just for people to watch movies? There is a lot of material there to work with, Austin. Stupid. We need to move right on. Dum, 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 dum. Hmm. Would you rather take a calculus test Ooh. or get punched in the stomach? That's easy. Punched in the stomach. Punched in the stomach. There's no explanation. We don't even need to go on. I'd rather be punched in the stomach. Um, calculus sucks. And on the eighth god, the devil decided there should be letters to go with math. <laughs> I love it. Well, Jim, I'm really glad you stopped by. I appreciate you. You're a good buddy of mine, and you do good work, and, and I'm sure we'll be doing something in the future to hang out. It's a pleasure, Austin. Uh, Anytime. You guys, thank you guys for stopping by. We'll see you next time on Badger BS. Till next time. Thanks a lot.